Wildlife is my passion. It's a lifelong expedition to learn and share my knowledge of Florida's unique ecosystems. It's a journey that has ups and downs. Saving an animal's life, thumbs up. Losing one, thumbs down. Even the littlest things deserve a moment of recognition. It's my mission to give every little creature full appreciation. Sharing the journeys I embark on with wildlife because, well, I'm the Florida Wildlife Guy. Welcome to the great outdoors. If you so choose to subscribe, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Alright, this is the Eastern Garter Snake. Uh, this one's a little blue in color. It doesn't have the predominant checkerboard belly on it. It's a very mature one. It could be a female. Um, they do give live birth like rattlesnakes. This specimen was caught here a year ago in the exact location. Could this be a breeding population? Or the exact same specimen? And it could possibly be pregnant, so I'm gonna let her go back here in the wood yard. It's truly amazing that garter snakes form massive congregations during breeding season when many males swarm a female in hopes of reproducing. This is common with many species, however, in the green tree frog, this behavior has never been documented. Could this green tree frog congregation be due to colder weather? It's a well-known fact that species increase their survival when they stick together. Some paper wasp species form huge colonies and start over every winter, this introducing Plessy's exclaimants. The world's smallest turtle y'all have been watching since incubation. He's still doing amazing. A new video upload every Thursday is my commitment, and I want to thank everyone for their subscriptions. Hi guys, we made it to a new home. Look at this nice, intelligent white 2P.